In order to understand secondary assessments, we have to know where we're at on the 911 call. There's five main parts to patient assessment. First is scene size up. As we approach the scene, what do we need for this call? Primary assessments. We are looking at a rapid physical exam and life threats and solving those life threats. History taking, that's your OPQRST. That's your sample. We're gathering a history of the patient the best we can. And then now, step four is our secondary assessment we're going over right now. And I'm gonna do a full head to toe assessment on the patient because that's what we do on our secondary assessment. Big point here. Sometimes, NEMS, you might not make it to the secondary assessment. Maybe the transport time is too short or possibly you are stuck up here in the primary assessment because you're constantly dealing with managing life threats. Throughout the whole call, you never get to do a detailed head to toe exam. Remember, we're still doing a rapid exam in primary. This is gonna be a detailed head to toe exam. Now things have calmed down. We have to know these key terms. Let's start on the left and move to the right. Three terms you need to know about. First is inspection. So inspection means just simply looking at the patient. Inspection. Palpation, like if I was going to palpate the patient's abdomen and on a physical exam, that's palpation, right? Now finally, auscultation. That could be a lot of things. For example, I could listen to the abdomen. I can listen to lung sounds. I can listen to heart sounds, right? That's auscultation. Now, you'll see something right here at start. That's something called crepitus. I've put it in here. I found that so many students struggle with this. Crepitus, all it is, is fractured bone ends rubbing together, right? So if we, obviously we have chest injury. We wanna look out for that. Now let's move over here to the right. DCAT BTLS is a mnemonic you must know for everything as far as EMT and BLS. We have deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures or penetrations. Then we have BTLS, burns, tenderness, lacerations, and swelling. That's gonna be our BTLS. Now, when we're doing our assessment on the patient and we're actually performing our physical exam, we are looking for DCAP BTLS. If we see one of these, we wanna try and fix it. As I'm starting my secondary assessment, if your patient is not fully exposed, you've made a great error. We have to fully expose your patients. Let's do that right now. Here we go. So now that we've exposed our patient, we're gonna start from head to toe. So first, remember, inspect, auscultate, palpate. So we're inspecting, looking for DCAP BTLS. I'm looking through here. So we have here the patient's eyes. Grab a pen light. We're gonna look at the patient's pupils. Are they constricted? Are they dilated? Are they normal, right? We're going to look at the patient's nose, any drainage, any blood, patient's mouth. Look, same thing, looking for any vomit, any blood, have them open their mouth, anything in the airway. These are readings to look at. Now, we also have the ears. Behind the ears could be a thing called battle sign. Battle sign could be signs of a skull fracture, any drainage, CSF fluid coming out of the ears. So we look at the ears, right? Now, moving on from there, we have the neck. We have the front of the neck and the back of the neck. So front of the neck, I think about, well, we have tracheal sound there. So we can grab a quick listen with our scope to listen in, right? At the back of the neck, I have my C-spine. If, remember this with the whole spine. If I have pain when I palpate the patient's uh, spine, if I have pain right on the spine, that is an ominous sign. If I have pain in the sides, note it, but that's usually more muscular versus right on the spine, more ominous. Continuing on as we go along. Now we have the chest. So, first thing I think about is lung sounds and heart sounds. So we listen to lung sounds, let's do that. Listen to lung sounds, let's do that, right? We can do some heart sounds, do that as well, right? We're moving along. So, we get our lung sounds, we get our heart sounds back. What else can I look at on the chest? Look between the ribs, palpate the patient's ribs. Do we see anything? For example, do we see any retractions? Do we see any accessory muscle use? Those are signs of respiratory distress, right? So we've, we've gone through all that. Now, I'm also looking for an equal chest rise and fall, okay? Now, moving on to the patient abdomen. I'm gonna palpate, go ahead and palpate the patient's abdomen, right? Is there any guarding? Is the patient you know, moving backwards as I'm palpating in a certain area? Do they 
announce any pain going on in the abdomen, right? Is the patient's abdomen normal for them or is it distended, right? Is it hard or soft, right? With the patient's abdomen. Now, do not forget the patient's pelvis. I want to palpate and inspect the pelvis as we're going along. And now we have extremities. We start with the legs. So we inspect and palpate the legs, go down. Get a PMS, a pulse motor sensory check. So get a pulse. We're gonna check for motor and sensory. So can the patient move their feet and can they feel when you touch their foot? Same with the hands, exact, can you do equal grips? Can you hold up three fingers, right? All those things, right? So we do the same thing, we scan the arms, palpate, inspect, get a pulse, equal grips, three fingers, these are all good. Can you move your hands? Great. Now, we've done all that. Now we go to the back. So depending on where your patient is, you may have to log roll the patient, in this case, in this example here, let's just say it's a, a medical patient and I'm gonna inspect their back and they're sitting up. I can lean them forward. I can feel down their spine here, to do a quick assessment. I can listen to lung sounds back here at the back. And it, um, obviously, I am going to inspect the back for any sort of injuries that I may have missed. And don't forget this, and please remember this. Why do we do this? We're looking for any sort of sneaky DCAP BTLS like injuries that we missed because we were so busy working out life threats earlier on. And that is your secondary assessment. If you are one of these three people, if you're getting ready for school, if you're in school right now or getting ready for your national registry exam and you want my resource that I give to all my students to get ready for those three critical parts of your career and your education, hit the first link in the description down below. It's my video vault. Inside there, there is videos, there is quizzes, access to our private student group to ask me questions, and it's over 420 videos inside that library with lifetime access. It's the first link in the description. On the screen right now, you're gonna see a video that I recently just did on a similar topic. You're gonna love it.